Today we're going to show you a great solution for shoe storage. This DIY is very easy to make and costs about $20. There is a supply list in the description box below. First you're going to measure on your 2x2 two two piece of wood where you will be drilling to put the dowels in. I measured 6.75 inches from the top part of the wood and I marked that spot with an X and then I measured 13 and a half inches away from that and repeated all the way down the piece of wood. Next measure the dowel into four and a half inch sections. You will need five of these. Using a half inch spade bit, drill a hole where you marked the X's. You won't want this hole to go all the way through this wood but you'll want to get pretty close to the other side. Repeat on all five X's. Drill holes with a small drill bit in between the big holes that you already drilled. This is where you will put the screws to attach this part to the wall. To make the shelves, we're going to measure 19 inches on our wide piece of wood. I did this on both sides of the wood to make sure that I got a really straight cut. After you have cut the wood into 5 16 inch pieces, find the middle of each piece and mark it. Then take the end of the 2x2 two two and find the middle of one side of it and mark it. And then you're going to stand that piece of wood up onto the shelf piece of wood and line up the two marks that you created just so that they line up perfectly. And then trace the 2x2 two two piece of wood. Take a fourth inch drill bit and drill two holes in the corners of the shape you just drew. And then we're going to take a saw and cut out exactly the line that we traced. Double check to make sure that the 2x2 two two actually fits into the section you just cut out. Using the same spade bit that you did earlier, drill a hole directly in the middle of the section that you just took out. Make sure you drill the hole as deep as the spade bit will allow. It should be about 3 inches. Pour a little bit of wood glue into each hole and then make sure that you coat the end of the dowel with the glue also. Put the dowel into the hole and then use a hammer to make sure that you get the dowel all the way down to the bottom and then you're gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes. Next, we're going to screw in through one of the holes onto a stud on the wall, and then you can use a level to make sure that it's actually straight before you start screwing in the other sections. Next, you can go ahead and attach the shelves. This will be a little tricky because it's a very tight fit. It's best if you use a mallet to hammer the pieces in, but if you don't have that, you can do what we did and use a towel and a hammer just to make sure you don't have any hammer spots on the wood. And once you have all the shelf pieces securely on there, it's ready to use. 